Okay, everybody, hello and welcome back to Lord of the Rings War in the North. And as you can tell, this time I've actually changed my character because I do not like using that female at all. And this series, this episode, as long as others, as well as others, has just been needing a big return. And, well, I'm finally about to give it out. So, this is where I stopped the last time, basically, right after I saved the hawk. And, uh... Oh, stop it. And, after I saved the hawk, this is where it came down to. Is this area right here. Um, I saved the hawk and end the video. So, this is right after I saved the hawk. I had to go back and redo it. And I thought about something else for this series, Consider that I am not the best Lord of the Rings player. Um, what I'm going to do is, whenever I go and fight a boss, I'm going to save and end the video right before the boss. So, right as soon as I fight the boss, like, nothing else is going to happen before this, but right as soon as I fight that damn boss, I am going to, if I die, I'm just going to continue to keep making video after video. Like, until I win, and if the videos begin to stack up, well then I'll just, basically what I'll do, is I'll put them all into, like, one big video. <laughs> like, depending on how long it's gonna be. If it's gonna be way too long, then, hell no, I don't wanna do that, but, I mean, if it's not gonna be that long, then, yeah, I'm gonna put them all inside one just kinda big video and call it there. Let me get rid of that just because I don't need it. <laughs> I got so many shorts. Um. Value four or five. Those are craftables, ammo. And then this is stuff that's not needed anymore. This is just for value. Uh, two-handed, one-handed, one-handed. Uh, that's two-handed dwarf axe. That's something I've already had. It's not better than my sword anyways, but it's not even better than my shield. What? Either way. Now we have a two-handed sword and we have a one-handed sword. Let's move forward. These waiting screens, I tell ya, they take forever, don't they? What if I got a lag on a waiting screen? Like, how fucked up would that be? <laughs> anyway. That was pretty friggin' fast. That was down there at ground level back that last time. Just immediately at the top of the fort. I mean, I know I'm the one that beat the game already, but you know, this is pretty, it's a pretty long time ago. I'm just gonna say we reached the top of the fort very fast. You're a sorcerer, though. Ooh, head right off. Off with the leg. Boom. The dwarf comes packed with a, by the way, crossbow. As the elf comes packed with the sorcery elf, might I add. So she comes packed with the um, staff. And then he, the ranger, human ranger, comes back with a bow. He comes with a crossbow. Plus, he also has the ability to go sword and shield and two-handed. 
The elf actually has the ability to go two sword, like dual sword, which I like, and I wish that this guy could, but he can't. We're getting rid of these war machines so that the uh, eagle can actually fly, his, fly himself in here. Uh-oh. And start the combo. Boom. Ooh! Holy disintegration. Huntsman's great sword. I'm gonna see how that let's see how good that is. Not to mention I also got this helm and stuff too that I should be wearing. I mean I, I bought it, that's the reason for. It's a two-handed, but see the way it looks. Uh not as cool as I thought it'd look. Same thing with that. <laughs> these, guys, these things are so small. Whatever, I'll go with the two-handed for now. I got the war machine. And off it goes. I love how the path just opens right up for us. So, uh oh, lag. Tiny bits of lag, like just tiny, like, frames of lag. Strange. I'm actually going to be looking for a better capturing software here soon. Because I'm just tired of the way this looks whenever it comes out and. Tiny bits of lag. I'm just tired of it, so I'm looking for a new capture software soon. Uh oh. Lag in the middle of combat is not what you want. Especially not in Dark Souls. I'm almost dead. Damn. Guys be fucking me up. Fuck it, man. I'm heading back in. Oh, shit. Right at the gates. Do not think that you are safe. Your false sense of stability is fueled by your lack of knowledge and frame lag, so I'm gonna have to get the fuck away from there. Where that frame lag goes down is just like a bad place to be. Oh shit. A bad place to be. Especially like right in the middle of combat, it's just like, ah. In this game, for some reason, the dwarf has like little to no HP because he's just like way too OP and such strength. So I really don't like getting hit with him because it packs a punch. And I'm dead in an instant. Where are we off to this time? After this cutscene right here, I think I'm going to end it. Outer wood. Outer words. 
all is clear. Well done. I am free to fly unhindered. But there are others fighting in the city. They may need our help. Could it be Elrond's sons? I cannot say. But they move with stealth, and they leave a trail of slain enemies in their wake. That sounds like Aladan and Elrond here on both accounts. They are likely heading for the Citadel, just as we are. Then let's push on. Maybe we'll meet up with them. I will shadow your movements from above. In open ground, I can strike against our foes. Call on me when the need is great. Okay, guys. So, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get working on finding some other stuff to help out, you know, a little bit inside the recording process and such. Anyway. Oh, wow. This is Nightmare, and I am signing out. See ya.